Welcome back everybody. Today I'm going to show you how to make a simple walnut cookie. Now you can replace the walnuts with pecans or the nut of your choice. Either way, it's simple and delicious. To start, I'm going to add one stick of softened salted butter to a large bowl. If all you have is unsalted butter, you could just add a half teaspoon of salt to your dry ingredients. So once I add the butter, I'm going to take my fork and sort of beat and whisk it to fluff it up. Now I'm going to add a packed cup of dark brown sugar. You could also use light brown, but I like the flavor of dark brown. I'm also going to add a quarter cup of regular sugar and a teaspoon and a half of vanilla and combine the ingredients together. Now I'm going to add one room temperature large egg and I'm going to cream the ingredients together until they are well combined and almost fluffy. Once my wet ingredients are combined, I'm going to set aside and start working on the dry ingredients. Here I have one and a half cups of all-purpose flour, one teaspoon of baking soda, and a half teaspoon of salt. I'm going to combine well. And if you are using unsalted butter, you'll want to add a full teaspoon of salt. Now that that is combined, I'm going to add one cup of walnuts that I've chopped. It's a rough chop, and you could also substitute this with pecans or the nut of your choice. Okay, so now that that is combined, now I'm going to mix together my wet and dry ingredients, and I'm going to start baking these delicious cookies. Here I have a large baking sheet lined with a sill pad, or you could use parchment paper. Now I'm going to take two spoons and scoop out the cookie dough right onto the baking sheet. And you'll want to separate the cookie dough two inches apart because they will spread. I'm going to bake my cookies in a preheated oven at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for about 12 to 13 minutes or until they are done and golden brown. I'm going to allow them to cool. You can place them on a cooling rack. I didn't have one, so you'll just want to let them cool for about 10 to 15 minutes, and then they are ready to be gobbled up. I hope you give this recipe a try. I hope you like it, and thanks for watching.